Ready to obliterate those electricity bills with solar power? Navigating the solar landscape amid the chaos of products, brands, prices, and predatory sales tactics can feel daunting. But I have good news. This is your Cliff's Not version of buying solar in 2024, and you'll never get duped by another pushy solar salesman or door knocker. First, Yes, a properly designed solar system will shrink your electric bill to a few dollars. Not zero, but usually less than 10 bucks a month. Now a pro tip. The solar system design is really critical. Most solar sales folks have no clue about design. The more knowledgeable professionals will design the system with inputs from you. Now, not all markets are equal for solar. Some markets like California, will require a battery in addition to solar panels. But most markets can do without a battery. Batteries are only good for two things. One, avoiding peak hour electricity rates and shifting all your usage to lower peak rates in markets that have time of use electric pricing. Or two, if you want backup power during a utility outage, since solar panels don't work during an outage. Now, when it comes to buying solar panels, it's crucial to avoid falling victim to predatory sales tactics. Don't let door knockers or cold callers pressuring you into overpaying for a subpar system. They really specialize in selling you fewer panels than you need and charging you way over market rate. Instead, take control. Calculate your actual energy needs based on your annual usage. It's easy, call your electric company and ask them for your annual electric usage in kilowatt hours, KWH. Once you have your annual usage in KWH, you can calculate the number of solar panels you need. I've got a really handy video to guide you through the process. It's easy, you only need a calculator and the links down in the description below. If you would like me to calculate the number of panels you need, I could do the math for you. Email me at john at mysolarhome.us or give me a call. Now let's talk product. There are three, lease, loan, and cash. Cash is the best. You will score the lowest prices and you'll recover your money back depending on where you are and which state between three to 10 years. Illinois is three years, amazing. Now loans are expensive today because of the high interest rates today. The real rates for a solar loan is around 10%, but you will have a lot of solar companies that will try to sweep you off your feet with their low interest 3.99, 4.99% kind of loans. But there is no avoiding high interest rates. These companies are just putting lipstick on the pig. They increase the price of your system by 40 to 50% and then sweetly offer you low interest rates. Lease. Now, the big players like Sunrun and Sonova love the leases. You have no upfront payment and most folks qualify for it. They specialize in selling systems that start with a very low monthly payment, but that goes up every year. It's called an escalating power purchase agreement or a PPA. The escalating part is rarely discussed. My advice is to only go for a fixed price lease the kind that has the same payment for every month for 25 years. And make sure you save money from year one. In today's market, a low cost monthly fixed lease is usually better than taking a loan. So look for it. In fact, reach out to me for quotes that are unbeatable on fixed price leases and also the most competitive on cash and finance deals. Now let's talk roof direction. Aim for south, east, and west facing roofs to soak up the most sunlight throughout the day. And don't sweat the small stuff. While roof angle can impact performance, the differences are minimal in the grand scheme of things. If you have a flat roof, I do recommend tilt frames because flat solar panels are a pain to keep clean. And no worries, tilted roof or flat roof solar panels don't require cleaning. They get cleaned automatically, weather takes care of it. A quick note on shade. Shading kills solar. 
if you can see shadows on your roof, even small ones, avoid disappointment by getting a good solar installer to do a shade analysis. I use shade analysis software to do a proper shade analysis. Finally, product. There are two main components, the solar panels and the inverters. Trust me, the rest, including the racking, electrical, etc., are all commodities. Don't listen to anybody. Just the panels and the inverters. Now, when it comes to choosing panels, don't get bogged down by brand names. Most top tier panels offer exceptional quality and longevity. So focus on finding a good balance between your budget and performance. Now, that being said, the REC Alpha, the Panasonic and SunPower Maxion panels, they really lead the pack with the highest efficiencies and the slowest degradation rates. Their power goes down over time. They've got the slowest rates. They also have better snow load and hurricane wind ratings. Other very high performing brands are Silfab, Qcell, and Tesla. The inverter is the box of electronics that the solar panels plug into. It converts the direct electricity into 120 volts AC so we can use it in our homes. With the inverters, you have a choice to make. Choice one is a string inverter. They are the cheapest and simplest option. They sit, they're a box, they sit on the outside of the wall of your home, ideally opposite the main electric panel. Older Tesla systems and inverters from Sunny Boy, they fall in this category. I advise you stay away from string inverters. They have performance and warranty issues. Option two is good. It's the hybrid string inverter. Now this is for solar panels installed with a battery. Tesla solar panels today, the newest ones, they come with the Tesla Powerwall 3 and they have both the battery and the panels and they go through a single inverter. Single inverter manages both solar panel output as well as battery output. So for battery conscious buyers, the Tesla Powerwall 3 is a good choice. Another hybrid option is the Solar Edge Optimizer. That's when you buy the Solar Edge with batteries, you get the hybrid inverter you can also get solar edge optimizers and the inverter without batteries. The third choice and my favorite is the Enphase microinverters. I've got Enphase microinverters on my roof. This is a little more expensive, but you get a more reliable product and a boost in energy. Instead of an inverter on my outside wall, I have small microinverters under each of my 35 panels. So I have 35 microinverters up on my roof under each of those 35 panels. The main advantage of the N-phase microinverters is that there is a lower voltage on my roof. I avoid high voltage DC wires running down, it's safer. And there is no single point of failure. In the other options, if the inverter dies, the old system goes. Not so with the N-phase microinverters. Now both the in-phase and solar edge solutions work a little better with solar panels and multiple roofs. You get more energy production over the solar system's life, as well as during the day with shade and other problems. Now, the other advantage of microinverters and optimizers is you can monitor panels individually. This is really good. You need to see what's going on, something's not working. Of course, the downside is they cost a little more than those string inverters. Next, a quick note on batteries. Now, there are a lot of batteries to choose from, but I advise you to go with one of the top four, the Tesla Powerwall 3, the Enphase 5P, the Solar Edge, or the Franklin. All these products have very strong nationwide support. I'll be releasing a new video comparing these shortly, but really, batteries, they need support. You need a good, good company. On the installer, it's important you choose a good installer. I've seen a lot of great products being very badly installed. Do your research, look for a reputable company with a track record of excellence. Now, if you want peace of mind, consider partnering with me for a hassle-free experience from start to finish. I work with partners who have completed many hundreds of installations nationwide. I guarantee you will get a good install if you use my partners and my service. Now, before I leave, here's a link to that video that helps you to calculate the number of solar panels you need. Thanks very much for tuning in and here's to a brighter, 
more sustainable solar power future.